I'm just adjusting myself for well, my camera. Hello, everybody. Hi, Bev. I thought you were working today. I thought you couldn't watch. Hi, Lorna. Annette, Caroline, Trudy. Hello, my lovely. How are you today? Hi, Jean. Hi, Angie. Ooh, with Z in front of my name, that's interesting. Zulia. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi, Debbie. Oh, lots of you are on this morning. Lovely to see you. Judy, hi. Morning, Elaine. I think this is going to be right up your street. <laughs> hi, Christine. Hi to everybody if I've missed anybody. Hi Chris. How are we all? It's a bit dark in my craft room today. The sun's not out yet. Hi David. Okay, let's let's kind of crack on and we'll start and, and to share because I know I know this is what you, you're wanting to see. Obviously, we haven't shared as early as what we normally would do because of the magazine box set that we had on yesterday and the day before. Congratulations to everybody that bought the magazine box set. It is lovely. You won't be disappointed by it. Um, lots and lots and of projects for you to do in there and um you know you're going to be going back to that for years to come probably i should think if not just for to the projects but you know, just just to get your mojo going so today um we're look, going to look at the brand new color me happy collection um which is launching tomorrow on her chanda so busy week busy week this week for both myself and all the sentimentally yours team big shout out before we get going for all the gorgeous samples that the design team have done which you'll see at the studio uh when we launch tomorrow the set i think is going to look absolutely spectacular especially with the ideas that phil's got um for actually laying the set out so um you know when I get there hopefully um I'll get all the team organized and we'll have it looking um exactly as Phil wants it so um the color me happy collection is a set of basically uh sentiments for you to color in Phil's developed this collection to uh go to be to, in line uh to be used with the color radiance alcohol markers which uh, we launched last month but don't think that you can only use them if you've got the alcohol alcohol markers. You absolutely can use them with loads and loads of different techniques. And I'll give you some ideas of techniques both during the shows and also if you hang with me to the end of this um, little Facebook, well, probably large Facebook Live, then I'll show you some ideas at the end of it that you can use uh, as well. So let's, let's kind of have a look through all the different uh, stamps that are in the collection. So obviously they're they're a little bit bigger than they look on the front. So I'll just I'll only whip one round because obviously mine are dirty and I don't have a second clean set to show you. Um, so um, so let me just see how you're doing, right? Okay. So this is your uh, birthday wishes set. Uh, there's two. You'll find two stamps on each set. So the sets are actually A5 in size and uh, each stamp is approximately an A6 in size. So if you wanted to, you could just stamp that on the front of an A6 card and colour it in. Or not. You don't have to colour it in if you don't want to. You can just stamp and emboss. And all of the sentiments have got um, a little bit of kind of um, flourish around each letter. The font is the same throughout and each letter has the same uh, design throughout. But obviously, because you've got different words, they're going to look different. 
I hope that made sense. But again, it's up to you as to how much you colour in. You can colour none of it in. You can colour in just the letters and leave the background and not colour that in. You can actually stamp, to, stamp on uh, um, pattern backgrounds if you want to. You know, I think you're going to find lots and lots of different techniques to do with these. So that's that one. Then we've got another one with a birthday on. Uh, happy birthday to you uh, and have a fabulous day. And then we've got with very best wishes and on your special day, you know, obviously sentiments you're going to use again and again and again. But the focal point, which is what sentimentally yours is all about, uh, because you are fabulous and you are just amazing. I think we're all amazing at the moment, don't you? <laughs> um, to someone special and have a brilliant time. Yeah, we're always we're hoping for a brilliant time, really, aren't we? Live life in full colour. Obviously, some of these you'll want to perhaps put in your journal or you can do some uh, work, um, work for your, your um, art, what is it? wall art. That's what we're after for in your craft room. Uh, you can have lots and lots of fun with different colours. Create your own destiny. And th that's all your uh, six sentiment stamps. Hopefully I've gone through all of them. Yeah. Six A5 sentiment stamps. So those are your sentiments. Then to go in line with this, because you might want to personalise you, what you're working on, we've got um, lowercase alphabet. And we've also got in here an at sign and a hashtag. Because obviously we're, we're quite, and we're living in a modern world, aren't we? So um, we're doing these um, Instagram thingies and whatever. Um, so obviously you can build up your own um, sentiment here or just... Uh, make a word or a name and then look at this biggie this is the first time phil's done an a4 clear stamp set an a4 stamp set of any type as far as i know um so this is your uppercase and uppercase is obviously bigger than lowercase so it needed that bigger stamp it had to have that bigger stamp um so hopefully you can see all of that as i move it around and then at the bottom we've got all your numbers OK, so so rather than have a separate set with different sizes, we put it onto the um, uppercase and you've also got your exclamation mark and your at sign. So there within those two sets, you've got your complete alphabet. And also there's this one. This is brand new, too. And I'm very, very excited about this uh, because it's your backgrounds. Oh, I've got a little bit of glare going on there, haven't I? Well, we won't be looking at plastic very often, so it'll be all right. So, yeah, this one is your Textural Temptations 2. We've already got Textural Temptations, um, which are lots of small texture stamps. These are nine individual um, texture stamps, and I'll just take them out of the, the sleeve, because we're going to be using them anyway. Now you can't see them, but there we go. And so let me just measure these, because I haven't worked out how big they are. Obviously, I'm in inches, because I'm an inches gal. Uh, so each one is, let me see... Uh, where's the one there's one one and a half just under one and three quarter inches wide by uh, just over about two and three eighths just over two and a quarter about two and three eighths so you've got nine um, individual stamps there super useful for absolutely everything you might be doing and we're going to be using those I really like these two these are I'm, I'm loving these. I'll be using these loads on lots of different projects. So those are all the new ones. And don't forget that we had in the uh, magazine box set, we had your distress code and we had your um, broken circuitry. And um, I've requested for these to be added to the show as well, because these are going to work great with the Colour Me Happy collection too. OK, so if you missed out on those, you'll be able to get those on the show too. So all the all the stamps, uh, this the new collection are going to be released in the morning on Honeypot Crafts and on my Julia Watts Crafts website. And there will be um, the Ho Chanda um, one day special starting tomorrow at six. If you want to buy it from Ho Chanda, do not buy it until six o'clock because you won't get any special offers that there might be on the one day special. David, the only time, or usually, not the only time, but usually the only time there's a, an exclusive stamp is when we do the magazine box set. Uh, occasionally, if we've got, uh, like, birthday weekends or uh, special events, 
then we might have an exclusive stamp on her chanda but there's not any exclusive stamps to her chanda through the one day special tomorrow it's good to know that you'd be buying from phil rather than from me david just saying just saying it's fine as long as you buy from phil myself or her chanda i'm a happy bunny right let's make something shall we or shall we show you what i've made I've made, only made two samples. I'll show you my two samples, but I wanted you to make sure that you actually still stay with me to the end because I'm going to show you some more ideas as well. Because obviously I've, been, I've got a lot of work to do and I've only managed to make two. And I've taken my time during making these. I've enjoyed the process of colouring in um, because um, it's kind of a mindful thing. It's a relaxing thing. And I'm, I've been using the um, Colour Radiance alcohol markers, so I've been just having a really nice time colouring in. Um, if you're new to alcohol markers, it's very, very easy to colour these in because there's there's virtually no problem about blending at all. We, I have blended, um, but it is really, really easy to do. Not a problem. So uh, we're going to do a version of this kind of colourway because I've got some flowers already made up um and so i'm just being a little bit frugal with with the time that i've got so we've just got an embossed background here we've got the birthday wishes uh, and we've got a bit of texture going on in the background can you see that it's very pale but um that's one of the texture stamps that's my favorite okay and then i've made this one as well this was a little bit this took a lot longer uh because we've got the hashtag in the background there as well as the textures but i've also colored in all of the flowers with the alcohol markers too it's a very bright card. It's um, um, you know a happy card if you if you like, and um, yeah, it, it does take a little while to do. But anyway, we're not going to colour in quite so much uh, during the demonstration because I'll be here forever. So let's make something. You must stay with me though. I keep on saying, don't disappear off because you must stay with me because I'll be showing you something at the end. Right, so uh, on the show, we've got the inverted corner rectangles and squares. So uh, I've got a square, but I'm going to use it kind of like a diamond. And first of all, I'm going to do a background. Now, I have done a lot of experimentation because, um, you know, alcohol markers work with um, dye-based inks. You, have to, you can't mix your solvents. So you can't use um, something like Stazon or Archival with your um, alcohol markers because they're both solvent based uh, inks that are in, in them. Uh, so you wanna use, use opposites. So you use things like Archival, Versafine and um, Stazon if you wanna do any water coloring. You use dye based inks, which are water based inks with your alcohol markers if you wanna do alcohol coloring. So it's opposites, opposites attract basically. And, and likes repel if you think of it like that okay so um i'm using distress ink now i have done some experimentation and um which i'll tell you about later because i'm gonna keep you in suspense um uh, but i'm gonna use uh, my little uh, mini distress inks for my background because it's another dye based ink so i'm using tumbled glass and we're going to use my favorite stamp from these little stamps which are all my favorites but we're going to use the little one it's this one this lovely um crackle background that we're going to use and we're going to and it's very easy because i mean i've only got little hands anyway so i struggle holding stamps in my hand uh, but these are very very um easy to use in your hand even with a little ink pad like this. So all we're gonna do is just add a little bit of texture and hopefully you can see it because I know it's a very light color, but I only want a light background. And this particular one is, uh, because of the nature of the crackle, you can go over, you can miss a bit. It doesn't really matter. It ends up looking like you've got one complete stamp, which is really cool. And how accurate am I being? Not at all not at all i've got a bit of glitter there and i don't want glitter on my stamp i put a bit of glitter on some leaves earlier and now it's everywhere bane of my life glitter <laughs> there we go see tap 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 how easy is that there we go there's our background fab 
Oh, I'm sorry, Alice, but you can, um, if you go onto my, um, into the video section of this page, then you'll be able to kind of um, watch it again and you can just fast forward to when you need to leave, okay? So, so, so don't worry, you're not missing anything. Obviously now, if I wanted to, I could bring in another background, but I actually like this one just on its own. Um, it's just, it's my favourite. It just, I just love this one. Absolutely love it. Stop saying that, Julia. Right. So, oh, and, and don't forget, little distress tins, very handy. And your Versacraft are going to go in there and your small Versafine as well. Love these little tins. Right, so we're going to actually stamp on the wonk. Oh, I need my big stamp press. Let me get my big stamp press out. Hang on. thought to myself I won't need the big one it'd be absolutely fine so I've packed it all ready for tomorrow but I do need the big one I'll try not to hit my camera because I'm stamping this way so I need it so I'm going to just butt it up to that side there so I've got at least a bit of a butt and grab my magnets all of the um stamps fit really really well in inside uh, one of the sizes of the uh, inverted corner rectangles so um, I can't remember what number this is but um, all of them will fit in that size uh, which is quite a handy thing to know so if you wanted to you could just cut loads and loads and loads of this size rectangle out and then just have a stamping session and you'd be covered but it's nice to do something in, you know in a different orientation so let's grab a stamp which one do I need birthday one which is the one I think you're going to go to the most I remember all of Phil stamps are um, high grade photopolymer uh, it's a deeply etched you can do with because it's photopolymer you can do all of your um, embossing techniques so this are uh, these stamps would look tremendous stamped into ultra thick I wonder if I'll have a chance to... I might have, have a chance to do one of those and take one with me so you guys can see. Obviously, I'm not going to do it now because I've got to find my ultra thick for a start off. So we can use the lines on the stamp press to kind of guess whether we're straightish. And I think we're straightish. And now remember what I said to you before. You need to use opposites. So um, I'm going to do some alcohol colour marker. Oh. Put your teeth in, Julia. I'm going to use my alcohol mark, colour radiance markers. And um, so I need to stamp with my memento. And I'm going to use the black because, quite frankly, I don't know where any of my other uh, um, memento ink pads are. Um, good. I'm glad, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, they, they are lovely to use. So I'm using my tuxedo black and... Um, I do sell reinkers as well as the uh, ink pads, but only the tuxedo black reinker. I've not found the other colours to reink. Um, I do have one or two of the other colours in stock on my website, um, but the tuxedo black is is the one you're going to need the most, especially if you want a bit of a pop. I struggle with the inside. These are big stamps, so I really would recommend that you use a stamp press with it because getting that centre part is very, very difficult when you're dealing with just an acrylic block. I'll give it a good old press. And, and, it, and I also would suggest you use more than the two magnets that come in the press as well. I'm sorry if we're, I'm jiggling you. Okay. Da, 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 da. Give it a good old press. We can always go back in. There we go. But that's pretty good actually okay you see that nice and accurate yeah it's lovely isn't it right okay so that you could just use as it is you don't have to actually color it in if you don't want to do give it a chance to dry and i've got one that is dry already let's put that to one side and pull this one in this one's dry already and um, when I was actually prepping this, which was last week, um, 
I actually stamped the uh, happy birthday to you before I stamped the background. I've only stamped the background this morning. So it doesn't actually really matter if you do the background first or the stamping first. But do remember, if you're not using Distress Ink, if you're using Distress Oxide, the Distress Oxide will sit on the top. And you don't really want that. So if you're using Distress Oxide in your background, you want to stamp your background first and then your sentiment on top. But it doesn't matter if it's all dye-based ink, okay? Right, so we're going to do a little bit of colouring. And I've got a note of my colours. Now, I've got one of the um, Happy Planner notebooks. And um, I'm, I'm writing down all of my colour combos that I'm using. And I would suggest that you do that because... Um, First of all, it means you don't have to think about what colours you, you, you want to use because you've got some ideas already and you've worked out what colours work together. But also, if they don't work, you can put a note against them and say, don't use that. And then you could, that will remind you not to use that combo. You know, so it's, like, it, it's a really good reference point. And um, with every colour radiance marker set, you will get a colour chart. I've actually printed mine out on the Silky Smooth, which I didn't tell you I was using because this is the um, Silky Smooth for alcohol markers um, card. So again, figure out what you're going to colour in with before you actually choose your card to stamp on it. Because if you actually do want to do watercolouring, then use the Super Smooth uh, watercolour card. If you're not bothered and you just want to do some stamping and embossing, you can use something like the Pure White or one of the colour, other colours in the Sentiment to Yours Premium cardstock. If that makes sense so yeah so i printed mine out on the silky smooth but you will get one uh, that you can use that's just on like a, um, um, a shiny uh, paper that you get so what i'm going to use is i want numbers 68 65 and 66 and i've sorted all mine into the color families well no I, that's not true i've actually sorted mine into my um color chart order and i've immediately forgotten what i need 68 65 66 68, 65 and 66. Don't worry, I'm not going to colour absolutely everything in. Because that... Oh, sorry. Getting excited. 65. I've forgotten the order again. 68, 65 and 66. 68, yeah, that, that order. Now, with your, your colour radiance markers, um, where you've got this grey band, that's where your brush tip is. So make sure that your um, dye ink is... Um... Have I put the wrong thing on? No, I don't think I have. That's pointing against the wrong side, isn't it? No, it is right. That's weird. That's weird, that is, because that one's... That barrel stamped weird. weird. Just ignore me. Right, anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on with the lightest first. And these are really easy to colour in, especially if you're not confident. I am going to go over that thin border around the edge. I'm not going to faff around with that. And I'm not going to colour in the outside either. So I tend to do a letter at a time. And this, is, this reminds me of... Um, do you remember the, um, the kind of... Um, doodle art that you used to get in the tubes years and years ago that you used to just take a bit of time to just doodle over they're a bit like that they actually look fantastic i think one of the dt and i don't know if it's lozzy has um actually done some zentangle within here so it, it's an open space so you can do whatever you want to in that open space yeah, that's that one. Then I'm going to take the next colour up and I'm going to go about two thirds of the way up. Like that. And round. See how easy this is because you're not, you're not thinking about um, shading. Well, I'm not anyway. And uh, you're not thinking about... Um, you know where um, that the the, the, the colours of a face or anything like that. This is the the, the next light uh, darkest one, and this is going um, a third of the way up roughly. It's only rough. And then what we do is go back to the lightest. You don't have to do all this if you don't want to. You can just do the one colour. 
go back to the lightest obviously once you've done one you, can, you need to do them all the same and then go over that and what this lightest does a lightest color will bleach out some of the alcohol and make it blend and you can go back with the medium tone and back with the lighter tone again if you wanted it to but to be quite honest because these are so uh, small then uh, it, it's 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 definitely sufficient just to do these uh, levels but like i say it just looks fine if you just want to do it just solid like that you don't have to do any blending but once it's dry you will see that graduation of color so that that is quite nice to see you can of course do um, each word a different color if you wanted to you could alternate um, between um, the letters and say have alternate colors and I've, I've done one like that which I'll show you uh, later on And, and and because we've actually stamped the background here's here's a little tip uh, my eyesight isn't as brilliant as it should be especially as i'm wearing very focals so i have to point at what i'm doing point my nose at what i'm doing um it doesn't matter if you've actually stamped the background and you're using a like color on top it doesn't really show if you go outside the lines it's, especially if you're um, um coloring in those embellishment bits um, because they're quite tiny but you won't see that you get away with it so here's the medium color I think it's the medium color I don't know I think it is I didn't do a swatch did I I have got a swatch I think I did a swatch at the time just listen listen to me chunnering on I was very tired yesterday when I get home. I was really, really relieved that we uh, sold out early yesterday. It's very hard to turn your mind off when you, you've done like three hours on the trot. I haven't done that since we were on Create and Craft. I reckon it's about eight years since I've done three hours back to back. And I don't like it. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> it was all right at the time. It's just afterwards you feel very, very tired. And the next day as well. And because I was sitting down after the 8am show yesterday, I felt really tired. I was quite chilled as well. So this is the lightest colour going on top. See, it is reasonably quick. It's only when you come to do the embellishment bits when it, it, it takes a little bit longer, which I won't put you through. But I want to show you that you don't have to colour the embellishment bits in if you don't want to. There's a lot of um, kind of freedom of choice, if you like, with the Colour Me Happies. It's meant to make you happy. It's not meant to be stressful. And they're not stressful colouring in at all. A nice gift for somebody, I think, one of these sets. I think as crafters, we need crafty gifts, especially this year. See, I've gone outside the line a little bit there, but it doesn't matter. Because I've used the tumbled glass in the background, it just looks like it's part of the, um, the kind of uh, cracked background. So that's the lightest one. I'm trying to put them in order here. And then two thirds. The only reason I'm doing a word at the time is because um, I don't want the alcohol to evaporate too quickly because it blends better if you're actually applying it kind of wet to wet. Um, oh. Here we go, Facebook. <sighs> my, my screen's gone off, let's come back on again. I know how to deal with it now. Just the last little bit here. And then the final lighter coat on top. Now it won't look its best until about half an hour or so. The This silky smooth card from Alcohol Markers. I mean, I've used Alcohol Markers um, before um, I'm not as, as expert, obviously, as Trudy is or Phil. Um, but uh, in my experience, you've had to be quite careful where you've had to colour to because um, on the card that's been uh, supplied or, or recommended, it's kind of um, the alcohol's kind of blended out a little bit. So you've got to need to be careful where you actually colour to. With this, you can colour right up to the line. And because it soaks through to the back rather than out, 
it means that your work stays nice and neat and tidy. Uh, Benita, you can watch um, from the beginning um, on my on my Julia Watts Crafts Facebook page. You just go to the video section and you can watch it. And that's the, the, the case with, with all of the videos. Just go to the video section of the page that actually broadcast it and you can watch them forever. OK, so don't worry. So there's my um, my piece. That didn't take very long, did it? I don't think it did anyway. We're only halfway through. Good, 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 good. So, what am I doing now? Oh, yes, I've got my background. Right, so. Oh, I'll tell you what I did forget to do. I've got some flowers that I wanted to... Um, I've got most of them made up already. I've got some... These are the enchanting flowers. I need to figure out which ones I want to use. I'm going to stamp these with the Distress Ink as well. I don't know what sizes I want. I've got some already made. I've got the, uh, this is the Elegance Flower. And I've cut these out of a paper from the Enchanting, no, Enchanted um, set. And I want my tweezers, wherever they might be. Pointy ones, yeah, pointy ones. And I'm just going to uh, shape these and we're shaping these up. So your tweezer in the centre and just shape it up. Oh, I need to figure, let's figure out what I want in the centre first. That's what I was going to do. See, I remember that actually, what something I was going to show you, um, oh no, it was in my Fairy Hugs um, live. I was going to, I said, oh, I'll do this. And I completely forgot. So what, let's have that size. Or that size. Let's have that size. We want two of them ones. And then on, oh, that's going on that one. See, I'm all at tears now because I forgot to do something. And uh, let's have that one as well. No, there's two of that size. We don't need those. Relief. And normally with the background stamp, what we'll do is we'll kind of just uh, stamp it over the top, won't we? And you could absolutely put this on a block and stamp it on the top, but we don't need to, do we? Because we know that we can do it quite neatly in our hand and let's grab let's do a fill let's grab a piece oh not you again sorry a piece of tissue and then we don't have to clean up i quite like that idea definitely going to try and remember to use that the no clean up idea move those out of the way because we're going to get something bobbly and we'll just add our however much you want to our flowers and we'll give that a chance to dry before we start shaping it that's what we do okay. so I've just cut these out of the pure white regular pure white the regular pure white matches perfectly with the um, silky smooth uh, for alcohol markers um, card as well so you don't need to worry about the whites they're a very good white match because you don't want to be using your uh, special card for um, doing all your die cutting and your 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 card blanks really uh, we, let's finish shaping that in a moment and we'll go on to our background so I've taken a another square a bigger square and gone ahead and embossed with the classic flourish embossing folder if you haven't got this i would def definitely recommend this one and also the quilt essentially quilted which is really really lovely okay so let's take my briar which is looking a little bit worse for wear after using it with gesso sorry phil and we'll take I'll go to the oxides now. We're going to go to, just because you get a better spread, uh, on the card that I did here, that's just with regular distress. So it's a little bit blotchy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit blotchy. Um, it's less blotchy if you use a, an oxide because of the, the kind of combination of your pigment ink and your distress ink. It's a bit, a little bit gappy now because of 
the mess I've made in my brayer. But very lightly, just run my brayer over the top. And you can, if you want to, um, mist with water beforehand to let the ink kind of grab a little bit better. Obviously, I didn't bother. Nice and light. You might get some in the recesses, but it's all right. It's only a background. And of course, the Distress Oxide will just run off your brayer underneath the tap. Now, if this was Philip, he would have a tissue underneath here, but this is me, so I forgot. There we go. That'll do. So I'll clean that later. Pretty. Where's my thingy? I know I've got one. I know what I'm looking for. Maybe I didn't get one out. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. One of these days, I will have enough time to tidy up. I'll need about six months, but um, I might be able to tidy up in that time. <laughs> right, that's that. So we've got our background going, so let's just edge it i think with uh we're pulling some darker color and we'll pull in some um peacock feathers i think goodness knows when my peacock feather sponge went i only used it yesterday at the studio so i know i've got one i only know i only want a little bit i don't want loads so we're only going to just touch the edge otherwise it's going to be dominant and I don't want it to be dominant. Okay, and we go around our topper as well. Although this is different cardstock, it's still going to take the ink around the edges. See how that's blended down now it looks really pretty doesn't it it's seamless to blend um but how easy was that to achieve you know you don't have to be an alcohol marker expert to color these in uh, that's if you want to use the alcohol markers like i say you don't have to don't ask me why those are there <laughs> they just they just uh, hitched a ride on the, the back of those. So we can start putting some layers together now. So we're going to put that onto a bigger square cut using the Elegant Ebony. And I know I've got glue. I know I've got glue because I use glue. There it is. When you're working in about six inches of space, it's very difficult to find anything that's right under your nose. I have no idea where I'm going to store my alcohol markers. They're just in a, in a, a tower next to me here. No space. Right, so this is going in here. See, I need my points to line up. Got a little bit of, of uh, movement time. Give it a press. And then we'll pop our background onto here. I mean, you could miss that with water as well and then it's starting to move around a bit, but we're not going to do that because then it will make it harder for me to stick down. If you want to do that, then um, do it. Uh, don't put loads and loads of water on. Do it and then put it to one side to dry naturally rather than forcing it dry and then it won't be all kinky. Um, that's my recommendation. here I love these inverted squares I, I love squares really do squares and triangles are my favorites although I do like an octagonal shaped card I must say foam tape there it is that was quick found that quickly so I'm using the two millimeter foam tape now I've got to find my scissors I did get my scissors out I know I did did I Sake, Julia. 
If I could find something on this desk, it would be amazing. I did get them out. There they are. I covered them up with my background stamps. There we go. Honestly, sometimes the, the, the time it takes me to make a card is increased because I can't find anything. That's why it takes me so long half the time. Which is why I'm scared to actually put some things away because I know I won't be able to find them. Uh, yes, they are, Joanne. I think I've got. I think I've only got one set left at the moment, though. I will be um, keeping an eye on stock levels um, because of the time of year. I've not ordered a deep stock of everything, um, but um, I'll keep an eye on the stock levels and, and as and when I run out, I'll try and order some more of everything. I know I do need some double deboss squares. I'll um, I'll order some more of those soon. Right, so that's nice and straight. And then this one's going to go on with foam tape as well. Um, obviously, you could put everything flat if you want to, but if you're going for that wow factor, then uh, giving it some dimension is going to make a hell of a difference. And I'm using the two... I don't know if I said I'm using the two millimetre tape from Woodware, which is the one I tend to use a lot the most. That's going to be over there. Shall I tell you a little story? I don't think my son is awake at the moment, so I can tell you a little story. So, he comes in to me, I think it's last week, he comes in to me and he says, I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, another one. And he says, um, so I was in the shower and, um, and, I'm, and I'm there having a shower and washing myself and I put my hand on my bum and there's a lump on my bum. And I thought, oh, what's that? So I tried to wash it off. And it's a, it's a pearl stuck to my bottom. How on earth did a pearl get stuck to my bottom? It must have come in from my craft room into his bedroom. I don't think that's straight, is it? Into his bedroom and into his bed and somehow onto his bottom. But he sleeps in his clothes. So how on earth did that happen? Brother was hilarious. <laughs> right, and he'll kill me for telling you. But, but shh, don't tell him I told you. <laughs> right, let's get these flowers put together. Let's move that out of the way while I shape them. So if you wanted just to have a masculine card, then uh, where we're at right now is, is, is enough. So we just get these shaped though. I don't know if I'm going to use all these, but we're going to shape, make them anyway. Sometimes it's nice to have a flower uh, making session. And then you can just... Um, you know, refer to them at some point. Flowers are kind of a love hate kind of thing. Did you see that beautiful? If you're, if you're not already, you need to um, try and join the crafting with Phil Martin and sentimentally yours group. So ask to join. There are a few few rules which you really should stick to, um, but. Um, once you're in there, there's some inspir There's always inspir. All the sneak peeks go on in there first um, of the new stuff that's coming out, and also there's lots of inspiration from the members as well. So, as as members get their uh, various different collections, they post post up pickies, which is always nice to see. And um, where am I going with this? I can't remember what I'm, I'm saying anyway. Yes, do join that so you get lots of inspiration. And the, yes, I know where I'm at now. Um, um, there was a um, an inspiration from the Colour Me Happy from our Alison uh, from the DT. And uh, she has done, uh, she just stamped and embossed uh, one of the Colour Me Happy sentiments and um, has surrounded it with lots and lots and lots of flowers. I think they're uh, these ones actually the enchanting flowers um and uh, it it's a i think a, a labor of love but it is absolutely stunning so if you're not already a member hop on over to the to request to join the group and uh, get in there and uh, i mean sometimes there's uh, like um uh, little competitions in there and um it's really nice uh, friendly community lots of support uh, but um, obviously the big request is please only share posts that have got images of sentimentally yours um, products on um, we don't want to see anybody else's thank you um, but yes it's a lovely place to go 
So I'm just using my pointy tweezers, giving it some shape. And this is on the pure white card, really substantial to card. And when you glue it together, you'll find, and what did I do with my, oh, it's a good job I've got loads of these. Um, when you actually glue um, flowers together, if you shape them um, and you put them all together while, while the glue's wet, the glue helps them uh, keep their shape, which is uh, which is tremendous. So that one's going in there, and going in there, and then we're going to. I need a a bottle. How are we doing for time? Not quite an hour yet. I do still want to share some more ideas with you. I'm, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do anything, but I do want to share some more ideas to get your juices going before we launch tomorrow. So pushing that up means that um, that stays in shape. This is just a like a molding mat, it's called. I had loads of these for when I did my workshops. I've got a massive pile of them still. Another thing I need to get rid of in my pre-love section, I think. Time. Don't have enough of it. That one's going at an angle. See, I like to stack my flowers up. That's just how I like to do it. But obviously you've got the facility to do your flowers however you want. And we all do them slightly differently. Which makes them more interesting. See how that you've got that shape going on? Obviously, once we put the pearls in, they flatten out a little bit. But sometimes it's better, uh, this won't happen for this, if you actually put your pearls in once all the glue's dry because you, you keep your shape a little bit better then because of the glue giving it shape. So this is going to go in and go that way. And once you pop that in there, then it changes its, the flower changes its personality completely. And then this one's going in like that. Oop. Pretty. I'm going to leave that, get that chance to dry a tiny, tiny bit before I pop the pearl in the centre. And let's grab our card. And I've got some leaves somewhere that I did earlier. And I've done, I've done, put some glitter on them. Well, some glue first and then some glitter. And this has got the um, Crystal Aurora on it. I normally go for Diamond Dazzle on these, but I've put the Crystal Aurora on. So I'm thinking that we might have some flowers, some leaves here. We've got a right and a left. This is your lush leaves. And we'll have a right and a left up here. Like that, maybe. In fact, we'll have them just straight, I think. Just like that. Just like that. Tommy Cooper, just like that. Put that one up there, that one down there. And then I grab some of my extras that I've got. So I've done an opposite one there. Don't know if I use that one. Don't know, it's a bit big. And I've got some little ones. That's an opposite one. I don't want to use the opposite ones. I've got enough of these. And that's going to go there. That'll do three each side. But every, everyone's multiplied by four, so there's still quite a lot of flowers on there. In fact, they're not, because I've only put singles on there, which is fine, because I've got doubles on there. That'll look all right, won't it? Yes, Julia. Everybody say yes, Julia. <laughs> oh, we've got to put pearls in here as well, haven't we? Let's get the pearls in there before we do anything else, otherwise I'll forget. So the ones I'm going to use are the Aqua Spray, which we had on the shows yesterday. There might be some left on the Ho-Chanda website or you can get them from Honeypot Crafts. He won't let me have any. I know, how rude. How rude not letting me have any. One of these days I'll wear him down. He'll probably say, no, she won't. No, she won't. <laughs> and where's my pickup tool? Right, there, right next to me. Yes, <laughs> Oh dear, you guys are so funny. So 
I want the five millimeter. And in the um, in the pearls we had on uh, yesterday, there's actually three, five, and eight in there. So Phil's listened to you. Uh, and with the ombre pearls, there's only five and eight millimeters in those. Um, and in fact, with the ombres, these these color schemes would go as well with this particular one. These are your ocean spray and your lime fizz. So these would work really well too. So. Um, if you can still get the ombres but there's only five and eights in those so he's listened to you and um it's because i think some of you wanted the three millimeters to go on like the cross points on the quilt essentially quilted embossing folder um so um he's listened to you and you've got your three millimeters in those so let's get all this stuck down and finished and then i can show you something else so let's get our leaves on Get my glue. I'm going to get all my glue on first of all I think because I'm having to shape my glue to get it going I don't think I'm near the bottom so, let's put some on the back of my my floors except for my, the ones I've just put the pearls in because the pearls might fall out just yet oh that was good wasn't it I think I'm going to show you loads of techniques on the shows um, tomorrow and Thursday. Um, thank you to the design team. They've also made me some demo packs. So we'll be doing probably a card and some techniques in each hour so that it's kind of mixed up a little bit um, to really explore the potential of the stamps because there is a lot of potential there. So we put that up there going off the side. I don't know if all my glue's dry yet, all my glitter. Where's the other ones gone? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Give me strength. Give me strength. What am I like? Let's have these. Let's have these two a bit closer together, I think, because it's on the top. And then we want our big flowers. We'll have the biggest flower on the bottom. Oh, come on, glue. See, pearl, pearl on my finger. This is what happens. Should have put that in second. Phil's probably saying, if you put your pearl in last, you'll be absolutely fine. Because I like having my flowers made up beforehand. Right, so that one's going to go off of the edge there. It's easier to put it on the, on the flat bit. And then we've got... I've got all my flowers. It's quite handy though, I don't have to hold it up to a camera really, because you can see. Sit. And then this one's going to go on this side. See, just a little bit of pattern paper helps. Obviously, you could just um, um, just use a different stamp, or just use, um, we could stamp and emboss on black card if we wanted to. See, nothing wants to stick for me. That's the problem with dimensional flowers. That's it. And then this one's the next smallest, or the smallest. That's going to go there. And that one's going to go there. Hopefully you can see. And then just to finish off, we're going to put a pearl in each corner. Because don't forget about your corners. And I'm going to use an 8mm pearl in each corner just to finish it. So it's quite it's quite a reasonably plain card I suppose. It's not overly fancy. But you know, we've we've actually we've taken just under an hour and I've actually coloured it in. I've actually done everything from scratch except for the die cutting for you. So um not necessarily that time consuming. Oh and shaping a few flowers. That's it's the flowers that take some take the time. So we're just going to put an 8mm pearl in each corner. These pickup tools are really handy. Not the post. And there we go, there. There we are. 
There we go, that's all finished. What do you think, guys? Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, uh, pickup tool. There we go. Pearls pickup tool duo set. So you get two of them, and they've each got uh, like a very fine embossing tool on the end, or um, you could use it as a scoring tool. And this here um, screws off. There's a, oh, well, it will do. Here we go. It screws off. So hopefully next year, what Phil's going to do is bring you some spare tips. Uh, this is wax, which is why you can it sticks to the um, the pearl. So do not keep it on anywhere near a heat source. Um, uh, it may when it arrives, it may be a little bit kind of shaped, you know, weirdly. Um, but you can use your fingertips to kind of um, flatten it out a little bit. Don't worry, it still works. Even if it's even if it was down to there, it would still work. It would be absolutely fine. But yeah, they're in a set of two. Okay. Right, so don't go anywhere because I want to show you some more ideas. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, okay, so where am I? Ideas, 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 ideas. I'll put them somewhere. There they are. Okay, so remember I said to you that you don't have to colour in if you don't want to. So purely stamping and embossing. So um, this is the Rich Claret card. So just uh, just with an anti-static bag, a stamp with Versamark, and then heat set with the uh, Sensibility of Yours Pure White Embossing Powder. So you don't need to do anything else with that. Matte it and layer it, bungling on card, maybe a few flowers, jobs are good. Okay, so that's, that's that one. Same thing, but on this, this is uh, the Tabriz Blue card. And this is stamped and embossed with your silver embossing powder. Again, simple. Could be obviously a wedding card. So if, if somebody was having a wedding and this was their colour, then you can add, add all your embellishments on with that as well. Okay, so again, jobs are good. And you don't have to do any colouring in if you don't want to. If you wanted to, you could bring in on here, I'd probably bring in the watercolour pens and you could actually highlight the letters if you wanted to, um, just to make those a little bit of a deeper blue if you wanted. Um, that will work, just use them directly, you don't need to actually use them with water. Um, don't use your alcohol markers on here because this is the colour plan card, it's not sil the silky smooth card. And remember, any embossing that you do, the um, alcohol is going to uh, colour your embossing lines. So you actually have to be really spot on with your colouring if you're going to colour in an embossed piece. Not so important when you've embossed, um, say, um, clear, clear powder onto black or black powder onto clear ink. Um, but, um, yeah. Yes, I'll show you at the end, Benita. Just hang fire, my lovey. Again, stamping and embossing. Um, nice to put a bit of colour into your life, you know. Um, so these are um, three of the colours from the embossing powders that Phil's got. We've got the lemon zest, the mandarin burst and the fabulous fuchsia there. So you just you just pop your powder on and just have it drizzle down there, put that bit away, drizzle down there and put that bit away, etc, etc and heat set. You don't need to do anything else with that either. So there's three that you don't have to colour in. Like that. Okay, so what about this one? So our oxides. So this is on the um, smooth watercolor, uh, watercolor card. So this is stamped with salty ocean distress oxide. And um, it's a good idea to let it dry first because otherwise when, you, when you're colouring in, you actually get all the ink all over here and you smudge everything. Been there, done that. So... Either that or use a piece of tissue when you're actually colouring in. So all I've done with this is I've just used a water brush and just pulled some of the colour out. I've not added any colour. I've just, um, because a distress ink and distress oxide are water reactive, you can just use a water brush and just pull that colour out. That's really easy to do. Again, not a problem. Okay, there's that one. This one is two colours of oxide. Again, I've done the same thing with... Um, 
uh, it's on the watercolor card uh, but with this one i've added this is your carved pumpkin and this is your crackling campfire and um i've just misted the stamp before i've stamped and so we've got a few little smudges on there which i quite like it gives a bit of movement but again you don't need to color that in if you don't want to that works brilliantly as it is okay now back to the uh, super smooth card and so like as i said to you before um generally i've used just dye based inks with alcohol markers but i thought to myself what will happen because so many people have got oxides now what will happen if we actually put the alcohol markers on top of the oxides i don't know let's give it a go so what i've done here is uh, i've got the silk this is the the uh, uh, silky smooth um card for alcohol markers because i wanted to use my alcohol markers but i've actually put my background on and again these are the stamps from the textures too on with brush corduroy and chip sapphire um um distress oxides not distress inks distress oxides and then I stamped on top with the Tuxedo Black Memento and I've coloured in with the alcohol markers the same way as I've just shown you, it showed you in the demonstration, but just a set of browns and a set of blues on the top and it's, it's worked absolutely fine. You can see the blend is still there. There's no kind of interference. We've still, you still get, just like with Distress Ink, you still get some of the pattern coming from underneath and I like that. So you can see it really showing up there on the O. I like that. Uh, that that just adds texture to the whole thing. But you've not got, you can still see, hopefully you can still see, if the camera lets me show you properly, Let's see if we're still up, you can still see the lines of that stamp in there. It's not bled at all. I, I wondered whether it, you'd get some sort of um, distortion of the fine lines, but you don't. Um, it's... It, it's absolutely perfect let's see i've moved it over a little bit i've moved it far too over where am i doing du, 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 du. let's wait for it to catch up ba, 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 ba. see i see it a few seconds after you or a, few, or a minute or so after you do uh, here we go the o's coming in now there we go can you see there the lines there in the background there's been no distortion there at all that's perfect i'm happy with that so that works then i thought to myself what will happen if i actually do my background in an oxide and then i also stamp with an oxide and color in with the alcohol markers so this is what i did so obviously this is again your um um silky smooth card for watercolors and i've got my background going on with sponge sugar and shaded lilac with a couple of the stamps from the textures too and then i stamped with um victorian velvet and set it aside to dry it takes a while to to dry um it's interesting um probably the wrong color to actually stamp the sentiment with because you it, 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 because of what I've coloured it in with as well, which is a darker colour, you can see where I've not, um, like here on the E, you can see where I've not actually kind of squared that off at all. You know, it's still very pretty, but I don't think the blend has actually worked quite as, as, as seamlessly because probably I've picked up some of the oxide ink as I've been colouring. I don't know what's happened really, but it's, it's not as crisp from a distance it's lovely and it works but really close up it's not as neat as i would have done so um when i've got time if i ever get time i might try stamping with something like black soot you know a darker one um uh, and and then see if that looks any better it's still very pretty you know it really has a power and an impact um obviously with some with these here these last two i haven't actually colored in the elements on the outside just like i didn't in the demonstration so you don't have to get het up about the fine detail in those if you don't want to color them in okay so something i just want to show you before we actually sign off is um do you remember i said to you um on the one day special shows that these stamps would actually work absolutely brilliantly with what was coming up this week so let's grab uh i've got loads of loads of die cuts you can see i'm getting all prepared for my um 
my shows and I'm just thinking about what card I want to stamp on and what I want to do with it afterwards. So, da, 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 da. yeah, okay. So we, we'll, will we do that? Yes, we do uh, We do this, I think. We, we get, use the watercolour card. Because that, 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 that's, that's kind of a, a general, um, we can use kind of forever kind of card and forever all the different techniques. So let's move all my samples out of the way. This is what I like to do. I like to play. Forget about making a card. I like to kind of do all those little bits as well. And let's grab a big block. And so this is the, um, what's this one called? I can't remember. Uh, broken circuitry. That's the one. And I want to actually cover the whole thing. It's not unlike when I did yesterday when I just did that sort of thing. I want to actually colour cover cover the whole thing. So let's let's just think about what colours we might want to use that might be nice and interesting. So um oh should we let's go bright and happy. Let's go for car pumpkin and the crackling campfire. Nice and bright and happy. So we'll add some of this on first. And you know, I know you're jigging about because that's what I do with the camera because I'm heavy handed. I don't treat my oxides very well because this next one's going to get a bit contaminated. So just a bit of red on top. They sort themselves out. And then I need something that I've put down somewhere. There we go. My Mr. Bottle. And then we're going to stamp it here. And I didn't do my, my thing. I'm going to try and do and stick my tissue underneath, as per always. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Such a cool stamp. Then I'm going to actually be behave, behave properly and just give it a wipe. I mean, obviously, I'm wasting that ink. You can actually stamp that in your journal. It'd be absolutely lovely. Just because I don't want to contaminate my oxide or, or not my oxide actually my background quite as much as i did yesterday when i was doing it so we're going to go again same order it's all right it's all right it doesn't matter if you're late you know me i don't mind i know i know you've got lives to leave it's just i need i wanted to do an 11 i had a word with trudy to see if, she, if i could nick her spot I wanted to do 11 so that I can, I've got time to do my post run and I've got time to pack for tomorrow, etc, etc, etc. And let's just tamp the other side here. Let's see. Let's just try. We, we, don't, we don't want to overlap too much, but we don't want to have a gap. So let's see what we get. Obviously, we can't see where we're going because it's rubber. That's, that's perfect. That's just it's just a tremendous background. It's so funky, so funky. Right, so I'll clean that off in a minute. So that's going to come off. Uh, that's going to just run under the tap and that's going to come off nicely. I might stamp it off in my journal as well. But but it will be darker on the outside than it is on the inside. That's the only trouble with um, kind of doing it that way. Look at all that colour. Super, super colour. Then what we're going to do is stamp on top. So I want my, I can use my small one this time. Let's just give it a quick blast because I'm going to put magnets on it and I might smudge it. Oh, plug that in. Tremendous background. I love all the backgrounds. Hopefully you've got that exclusive stamp. I did warn everybody, you know, that exclusive stamp was absolutely... Can you imagine if you've got that box kit and you've got that exclusive stamp, can you imagine how, how wonderful these sentiments are going to look on top of that, um, that Starburst stamp that we had on yesterday? It's going to look fantastic, especially things like... Um, the live life in full colour and um, the destiny uh, sentiment as well. It's going to look absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, so let's pop this in here. And we will have... We will have the um, live life in full colour. I think we'll have that one. Because this is really colourful, isn't it? Oh, 
I'm still smudging it. Look, I haven't um, dried it properly. Uh, where are we? The small, um, you know, the small inverted uh, corner squares are going to be great for if you want to do, spell out like mum or dad or just, uh, you know, um, you could do love or Christmas, not not Christmas, but Xmas or snow and all things like that. So you can actually use them for all sorts of occasions. Right, let's pop this on here. I haven't used this one before. Hopefully that's straight. That. and because we get look I smudged it because we're going on to we're going to do some maybe some watercoloring on top of here or maybe not I'm going to use my Versafine Clear so this is my Nocturne Versafine Clear it's just bowing a bit because I've just heated it it's not cooled down yet so remember you, you you, would, you won't be wanting to use this with the alcohol markers although it's meant to be a hybrid ink so you could actually try it and see what happens but of course we're on the wrong type of card for alcohol markers now anyway um, so I would bring in either my oxides or my um, watercolour blending brush pens to colour this in if I wanted to colour it in if you want to stamp and emboss, make sure that your background is 100% dry and then dust with an anti-static bag. And uh, then you can um, stamp with your, uh, either with your Versamark, not Versamark, Versafine Clear, and then add your clear embossing powder or stamp with your Versamark and add your coloured embossing powder. Let's see. Let's see how we go with this because it's a new stamp. Oh yeah, look at that that's tremendous <laughs> i'm liking that that makes me really happy <laughs> so i think i'm going to stop there because i'm i'm really happy with that um so um you can imagine what that's going to like coloured in so i'm just i'll just color in with, with yellows and uh, oranges and that will be tremendous see what i said these backgrounds i mean this one will look fantastic as well which is that one so um this is your distressed code so that would look fantastic on there for a, a guy card maybe but you know there's nothing particularly masculine about that it depends on your colors that you choose depends on your colors absolutely tremendous so thank you for watching um uh the one day special launches tomorrow night on hochanda at 6 p.m there's another show tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And then on Thursday, it's at 8, 12 and 4. You'll be able to watch all of the shows on Rewind. Um, uh, just go into the TV schedule on Hochanda and then uh, select the date and time of the show you want to watch. And you can watch it uh, over the Internet or over your Internet browser on your TV or via the app um, on your iPad or um, your phone. Um, so it's available for 60 days so when, you, when you've got your stuff you can watch it back if you want to um, this will be uh, video will be available um, in a moment on my video section of my Julia Watts Crafts page and I'll also upload it to YouTube later on this afternoon so you can watch it on there whenever you want to um, Honeypot Crafts and myself Julia Watts Crafts will have the collection live from tomorrow morning so you can purchase from us if you'd like to Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I will see you on the telly box tomorrow. Bye.